OK, it's time to hear from Cara, who's on the broadcasting roof. Yes, thank you. I've now been joined by BBC commentator Andrew Cotter. I know you're working on the Murray match today. Yeah. Dropped a set again for the second time so far this championship. So what's your overall takeaway as he progresses through the quarterfinals? Well, today, I mean, it was a sort of a unique challenge playing Ivo Karlovic because, he, you know, he's just throwing down these enormous serves all day. So he de dealt with that very well. He mixed it up a bit, took the pace off his serve. I think Andy Murray had a, a clever game plan, executed it well. Yeah, he's dropped that set today. He dropped a set against Andrea Seppi, but I don't think that's too much to worry about. He, uh, he looked pretty good at times. You know, at times very, very good, just dropped off the pace a little bit. But um, again, I don't think with Andy Murray that's too much of a concern. A lot of the feedback during the match was that it was really just such a magical display from him. He seemed to be dealing with the serve pretty well. What went wrong in the third set, do you think? Um, I, again, his serve, he was just offering Ivo Karlovic a little bit too much on his serve, I think. I mean, he, he, was, he was only knocking down his first serves in 110 miles an hour. Andy Murray occasionally got it up to 125, whatever. But he was knocking down slow serves. Then his second serve, 85 miles an hour, 90 miles an hour. So it just gave Ivo Karlovic a chance. And he played well, the Croatian. He's, I mean, he's a, a very fine player and playing about as well as he ever has done at the age of, uh, age of 36. So it doesn't take much. You just don't have to drop your level by much for the other player to get back into it. So... Uh, there wasn't a huge fall-off from Andy Murray, it's just uh, just he dropped a little bit and Karlovic took his chances. It's remarkable to think that Andy now faces an unseeded player in the quarter-finals in Vasek Pospisil. I mean, it looks like it should be a pretty easy route for him through to the semis. Well, it, it should be, yeah. I mean, things would get tougher there if we look at, get ahead of ourselves and look at, you know, possibly Roger Federer in the semi-final. But, yeah, if you said to, to Andy Murray, you could, you know, playing a, an unseeded guy in the, in the quarter-finals, then he'd bite your hand off. And Vasek Pospisil, the man who, who beat James Ward and was given a very good match by James Ward so yeah it's a great achievement for the Canadian to, to reach this stage and I think this is as far as he'll go because Andy Murray well he's played him three times played him twice this year in fact and he's beaten them every time he's played them so I can't see Pospisil really pushing Andy Murray but obviously then you've got the real step up in level and sometimes that's not a great thing when you have to you know you've had a slightly straightforward match perhaps then to go and try and really raise your level to play someone like Federer in the last four. But he seems so relaxed. I think having got the monkey off his back back here in 2013, he's done it. He's won Wimbledon for a first time, the first British man in 77 years. If he, if he does it again, it would be wonderful, but he doesn't have all that pressure on him. It seems to look like he's just playing with so much more ease. He's so comfortable and definitely one of the hot favourites for the title. Well, I think he's playing as well as he ever has done. I'm sure that you're right, that the, the win two years ago, that does take away a lot of the pressure. But... He puts a lot of the pressure on himself still because he's a perfectionist. Because, and you could see him out there today, even when things are going quite well, he's berating himself and berating his box, berating his support staff. Um, so I think he'll always put the pressure on himself. And, and that's a good thing because you need perfectionists in sport. I hope he's not too hard on himself. But yes, I think you're right. He is in a pretty comfortable place with his game right now. I'm just a little bit concerned about his, his serve. There needs to be a bit more proper, and it's in particular the second serve, because the better players will, will punish that. So as a commentator who watches lots of tennis, mm. who is your pick for the men's and ladies' titles this year? Uh, it's, it's got to be uh, Djokovic for the, for the men's. I just think, especially, I mean, the way he's played Murray this year, he just has that psychology, he has that edge over him. Although it was close at the French, and if it's close at the French in the clay, then it can be closer here, even on the grass. So Djokovic, Djokovic Murray in the final, perhaps the Djokovic taken. The women's, I think Serena having come through that, that scare with Heather Watts, and I, you know, who, could, who could back against Serena Williams here at Wimbledon? It's hard to look beyond it, isn't it? OK, Andrew Cotter, thank you so much. Thanks Very for well. talking to us. You will hear him on the BBC tomorrow, I'm sure. Thank you.